All right, I'm Nick. Today, I went out and did a little bit of bridge fishing. Now, I'm gonna show you a super simple setup to catch fish on the bridges, but I'm gonna give you a little background information. I didn't leave the house to, I guess it was about 11, no, uh, sorry, 7.30 when I left the house. I was supposed to get real, real windy about 9, 10 o'clock, so I wasn't gonna drive far. So I just headed out to the local bridge right down the road, got in the water, went out there, and I caught a nice redfish. I caught a giant pinfish. Check this thing out. Isn't that thing huge, 11 and a half inches? All on fiddler crabs. Now, I have a fiddler bill at the house. You see it right here. I grabbed a few fiddler crabs out of there. I took off, went out to the bridge just to kill some time. Probably only fished for about an hour, but I was just killing time, and I figured I would record whatever happened and tell you guys about it. So I'm going to show you a super simple setup for fishing the bridge. Now, I'm not going to put too much emphasis on the rod or reel because whatever you have at the house will do just fine. You don't need anything too special. I'll show you what I use right now. You'll see it in the video. Um, this is a Shimano rod, seven foot, uh, rated for 15 to 30 pound line and a quarter to one ounce lure. I paid 35 bucks for it at the local bait and tackle shop. I didn't have a rod. I want to go out there and bang off the pilings. So if you have anything really, really nice, I wouldn't recommend using that. Uh, bridge fishing can be like close quarter combat. Sometimes bad things happen. If I break this in half, I'm not going to be upset about it. Uh, this reel, this is the reel that I used all summer to catch bait on the Sabiki rod. It's a Tranks Shimano 200. It uh, has 30 pound braid on it just because that's what I had laying around. And this is 15 pound fluorocarbon. And we were using the sheep's head jigs that we sell on the website. And there'll be a link to those below. Now, when we made the sheep's head jigs last year, one of the most common things you see is people make sheep's head jigs, but there's no split ring here. They just put this hook on that metal piece in the mold. And that's really, really cool. But what happens when you bend the hook? That whole jig is useless to you till you go home and you cut the hook off. With the split ring, you can just change hooks as you want to. On our sheep's head jigs, we use these owners. Man, it's a tiny hook, but it's super strong. You have to set the hook to hook the fish. Uh, sheep's head, they have like teeth like humans. So... Circle hooks don't really work on them as well, so we don't use those when we're bridge fishing because obviously I went to a bridge close to home. I didn't really expect to have sheep's head on it. It's a little too early in the year for them to be there, but I wanted to go out there and just give it a shot and kill an hour of my life, right? Uh, I did catch a nice redfish. You're going to see it here in this video. You're going to watch me hook the fiddler crab as well. When I hook the fiddler crab with this, the goal is you tie off right here. It comes down. This is going to sit Flat. If it falls to the bottom, it'll sit flat. That hook is going to come through at a sideways. Other, you don't want the hook to come through vertically. It's going to be hard to explain, but you guys will see it in the video. It comes through its back legs. And then when that fiddler crab goes down, the fiddler crab will be here, and it will sit perfect. And we'll go in more depth about that in the future. It's really not that important. That's really just particulars and me being really, really picky. We'll make a video focused purely on sheep's head fishing. But this is a simple setup that you can catch all kinds of fish at the bridge. And here's an example of me doing it.
you guys can see in that video drop it down that redfish actually ate the filler crab on the drop to kind of see the reaction uh one thing you may notice this rod's brand new uh it's a little flimsy for what i would want for sheep's head fishing but overall it did a great job for that uh i'll probably end up cutting six to eight inches off it but we're going to talk about that more in the sheep's head video okay if you guys have any questions about simple bridge fishing setups drop a comment below make sure you hit that like button tell me where you go bridge fishing in the comments all that good stuff thanks for watching